I'm really looking forward to casting this one for you here today. We got Loki back in the house. He was the one who brought us the 18 pop Malay Tower Rush, which was absolutely insane and an absolutely insane game to cast. This man is playing at 1770 ELO, almost 1800 ELO, probably on a good gay day he could reach that. And the way I know of Loki or the way that Loki knows of me, I should say, say is because I Berber Villager rushed him when I was this ELO. I don't normally play at this ELO unless I Berber Villager rush. so that was really really fun for me. Now he has made an iteration on the 8 pop scout rush which is the 15 pop scout rush which supposedly has great eco behind it as well and can actually win games at 1800 elo double farm drop dang son at this point why don't you just go castle age that's nuts he could go knights at this point he has so much food probably just doesn't have the gold income in order to get that done but even so and also going 18 pop um castle is relatively difficult i'm 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 just, I'm just like so in awe of what's going to happen here. So far, it has been 13 all on food. Gets housed, but that was a purposeful house because he's now going to click feudal. Yes. Now he gets the wood. He's going to get enough for eight stables, and he's probably going to get enough for another house as well because now he actually does require that pop space. 13 on food, two farms created. Who can hate it? Dang. And lagging doesn't matter. Stables, and then probably going to be a lumber camp after this with the wood that he collects here. He can already make two free skies, and he can even produce villagers here as well. Yeah, he's already queued up two additional villagers which is very very nice and stables forward great job on that trying to get some value out of this scout on the front i kind of want to just pay attention to what the build order here actually is because i'm assuming it's going to be a lumber camp now or it could also be a mill no it is a lumber camp a little bit unfortunate this guy is going to do some long distance trekking but that's fine don't worry about it at this point it's all going to be about the scouts normally scouts hit at about the 10 minute mark that's not the case here this scout is already here at the flipping nine minute mark that's a really really fast scout rush considering this elo and picks off one for free no because he's also good at the game that's a freaking shame if he can deny this barracks that would be huge as well then he couldn't get spearman out although spearmen at this elo are not as good as you may think the quick walling is so disgusting yeah Spearmen are not as good as you may think because scouts can kind of just run around and play ring around the rosy or just die. He just wants to get that villager, does get the villager, but at what cost? At what cost? Yellow's entire economy is either. I don't know if Yellow wants to keep playing. Gets wheelbarrow. I don't know why he's getting wheelbarrow. Maybe just run away from those scouts. More scouts not being produced anymore. Horse collar being picked up. Eco upgrades galore. The switch into archers after realizing that his opponent's base is almost fully walled at this point. I love it. Great professional switch. I love how he turned a meme into oh no. Yes, he saves the sky. Value! Value! <laughs> Savings over here. Literal savings and now yellow must be wondering is he going to keep making scouts he hasn't seen any additional scouts and i like how he hasn't over committed to spearmen people at this elo aren't trick very easily e elo easily easy. you get what i was trying to go for he's still running around this is giving him huge insight on what units his opponent is making he already knows that he has an archery range oh he does not wow that's interesting that was the one thing he did not manage to see with his scout he does know that he's on gold so he can kind of expect an archery range at this point oh the lion 
Well, and now he sees an archer. Still hasn't seen that archery range though, which is interesting. Probably should have checked that hole just to see what was going on. Value, no more savings. <laughs> Uh, and now we have stabilized. It is a totally a normal game, except that Loki, by means of this funny strat, has five villagers advantage on his opponent, as well has as having significantly more military and significantly more being housed. We're gonna pick up fletching probably, and if there are a lot of um skirms from yellow i would not be surprised if we see archer armor as he's already quite ahead archer armor just makes it so that archers are completely useless against skirmishers but he has enough skirms here i don't think he has to over invest the fletching is a good one though yellow on the other hand does have archer armor and the lion now it's yellow's turn first it was loki's turn now it's yellow why are you always lying why are you lying stop lying every way you do it gotta make it man i think i think loki is really making me very very happy today he's sent in two very very interesting games and i'm very happy to cast this one knowing that scouts are going to come out he's going to retreat that army bring it home probably save it to go castell age or just camp a hill yeah goes for a nice tactical approach here uh, with a hill with some archers he's probably going to be fine against any number of scouts that are sent out to him he's also able to go castle age where his opponent is nowhere near yellow knowing that he has to do a whole bunch of damage is going to go for a little sneaker room over to the back of teal's base i also don't know how to say this oh the houses come our house is so dirty bro so dirty Oh, I get one farm for all of my efforts. Oh, so sad. Oh, back into the house. Wabam, here come the skirmishers. That was not very good engage. I was giving him all this props. This guy is trash. Stinks. How is he even going to deal with these scouts? He doesn't even have a stable over here. What a dipstick. <laughs> Poop Lord turns on Loki very quick. That could be... Part of the overall plot yeah once these archers as i was saying before if you have enough archers in that ball they're going to handle everything and now with the knights out that he got from doing the 15 pop scout rush whoo, and these things break through so quickly forward siege workshop you love to see it though maybe even adding in some monks he'd make this right next to the relic as well get some extra value loki's all about the value man He's getting mad value over here. It's four of them as well, so those four could easily take an engage. A okay, monastery, Huang Rush, yes, baby. Oh, Poop Lord's freaking creaming his pants over here. I love seeing memory at the highest level of play, and I love how he's following this up as well. Well, yellow now reaching Castell Age, but there's scorpions over here. There's mangoes. There's knights, and he decides. What in your right mind makes you think? Ah, I'm Castle. I'm behind. He has several knights on the front, four, and he has two scorpions and a mango that I've already seen. Why don't I just boom behind? Are you kidding me? That is lunacy over here. Wait, why are these guys lighting up over here? The power of women compels you. It's only the women that are lighting up. This man is not lit up. At all. Oh, there's a hole. There's a sweet, sweet overchop value central to be had here as well. There's scorpions doing so much on the front. Oh, but the monk wasn't quite in time. Probably trying to get the relic too greedy. From oh my god, <sighs> Yellow did such a good job holding here. Okay. So these guys come through in over on the wood line. We have the double scorpions that are getting great value on both the archers 
as well as on these villagers over on the front, the monk goes to pick up the relic. Yellow now getting tons of value by sniping that monk. Now there's nothing over here to protect the siege. All of those resources down the Drano, but the amount of value that Blue was able, or Teal was able to get on the front here was tremendous. Tries to rewall, is going to get the rewall off with another archery range to try and keep this safe. That is very, very bad overall. Now get the weak one, that's pretty decent engage. And now the siege has to be built up once more. This skirmish is like, there's no hole here. There's no hole. Don't. Don't worry about me. We, nope. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Get the <a> knight. <laughs> Minimum range, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Such great moments. Such absolute fantastic moments here. He's still going to go back. I would love it. Not because I'm rooting against Loki. I think Loki played really, really well and I really enjoyed it. But I would have loved it if when he went for that relic, he got sniped again by a light cap. It is so close to happening. Oh my god! Oh no, Loki! You... Oh my god! You... Oh, I called it too. I've never seen this game before. You dirty, dirty dog. He got you once and you're like, no, value. Pilplord, value. See ya. Value for yellow, swallow. But he's still fine. I mean, all he has to do is really add some uh, mangoes or scorps behind. And he'll be able to keep healing these knights up indefinitely. That's also too many scorpions, probably, to get that monk. Oh my god. He's, oh my god. That one scout got so much value. It is disgusting. That scout... Wait, let's see how many kills it got. Probably killed like three monks. So there's this cool feature on Capture Age. Resurrect. Oh, he's only got one monk. Okay, two monks. He got two monks. So it must have been a different scout that got the other ones. I was going to say, if that one scout got three monks, he must have been sacrilegiously inclined. Good value on the scorpion even still. Being a lot of damage, and these villagers are all going to be dead in just a second. Second, nice hop out from the knights onto that monker room, but the economy is just so much in Teal's favor at this point. Has to pull back, needs to save this knight army. Did actually add his second TC, and now the eco is a uh, booming, is a zooming. Getting rams actually is very nice here as well, just to clear up a lot of these buildings. Can he get a conversion? Did he manage? Yes, he did. Wow. Yellow is getting all of the monk RNG. And Teal is getting none of it. But it doesn't even matter. That's the best part about this all. Is that it doesn't even matter. It wasn't a full Huang rush though. As he did add actual eco behind it. Oh, another conversion. That's so brutal, dude. Really, really brutal. For Teal, uh, I mean, it, it's fine. It's, it's 20 to 8. Now a panic castle is being constructed. I don't think he can deny this. Runs in anyway. Is going to kill a whole bunch more villagers. And the rams are already there. Uh, loses monks and whatnot, but that's fine. Oh, I now loses all the rams as well. Tried to greedily dive that, but no such luck. I think you have to kind of go Imperial Age at this point just to finish it out, but... This game is kind of over unless he froze significantly. There's not very many mistakes that either players are really made. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yellow is a freaking sniper over here. Killing monks, killing scorpions. I would be so peeved if I was yellow. Then again, I, I 15 pop scout rushed him, so there's not too much to be upset about. GG called. Ah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he actually called GG. He's stuck in so long. He must have looked over at the score and been like, wait a second. He actually still has more behind. 3TC and 3TC over here as well. Wow. What a game. What a game!
how fast was that scout rush? What was the actual time on it? That's what I want to know. And what I really want to know is 721. Oh, that feels bad, man. That feels bad. That's faster than I sometimes do. The A-pop scout rush. Oh, that feels so bad that he's able to do that so freaking well. Oh, my. 1800 ELO, man. 1800 ELO. You already know the whole disruption in the beginning and we saw this in the previous game of Loki as well where he sacrifices a little bit of economy in the beginning so that he can put a lot of early feudal pressure on and that then spirals out of control into a huge advantage in the late game and he has the mechanics and the APMs to actually follow through in the late game and with that don't let your memes just be dreams. Keep walking and know that people are memeing at 1800 ELO, making the APOP Scout Rush their own, adding some additional villagers. But I take full credit for this win here from Loki. Full 100% my doing. 2000 ELO with my strategies guaranteed. If not, just divorce your wife, quit your job. And um, leave your kids at daycare. You don't want to leave them unattended. That's that's bad. I, I, I'm joking, of course. But um, yeah. 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 It reminds me of that freaking boom, boom, boom on Arena 5 Top Arena memes. Keep walking. I want to see more of Loki in the future. I want a Berber villager rush him again. He could probably defend now significantly better. Let's see.